Hello folks, uh, this is, uh, um, I am back after a long time, uh, so this uh, time was uh, I utilized in recuperating from uh, the seasonal colds, so I got cold after a long time, I think after one year I suppose, uh, health was a pretty, uh, pretty strong mind, but uh, after whole family was affected, uh, I could not escape that infection. So, uh, three days I have been suffering, so now it seems that I have recovered a, a little bit. So again, it's uh, my regular job, regular duty to uh, post uh, solutions to the questions. So this is uh, uh, the question of October-November 2010, uh, paper 4-1, and the question number is 4. So number A says, define capacitance. So capacitance is the uh, ratio of the charge stored in one of the plates of the capacitor compared to unit uh, potential difference uh, applied across the plate, uh, unit potential difference uh, across the plates. So, it is the, uh, and we have to remember that it is the ratio, not the, uh, not the, not the rate as uh, that happens in velocity or something else. So it says, an accelerated metal sphere has radius r, so when charged to a potential v, the charge on the sphere is q, so when we give a potential v, the charge becomes q, the charge may be considered to act as a point charge at the center of the sphere. So it's a, just an it's an assumption. Uh, it can be taken as an assumption. So uh, we have the first question is state an expression in terms of R and Q for the potential V of the sphere. So V is equal to simply is equal to since the charge deposited is Q, it should be equal to Q by four pi epsilon naught R in case of vacuum. In case of vacuum. So in case of any other medium then it should be uh, q by 4 pi 4 pi epsilon into r the isolated sphere has a capacitance yes of course use your answers in uh, in in this a and b a and b to show that the capacitance of the sphere is uh, proportional to its radius so what we have from here is uh, what we need to show is c proportional to the radius so larger the radius more will be the capacitance and uh, smaller the radius less will be the capacitance so let us try it here so we have v equal to q uh, by 4 pi epsilon naught r uh, this uh, gives us this gives us uh, this gives us uh, <coughs> uh, 4 pi epsilon naught r is equal to q by v so this is equal to capacitance capacitance so therefore uh, capacitance should be proportional to r it's because it's because 4 pi into epsilon naught is equal to a constant quantity constant quantity so that's why that's why that's why, that's why the capacitance is uh, directly proportional to the radius of the sphere now question number c says the sphere in uh, b has a capacitance of 6.8 picofarad so c is equal to 6.8 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad and it charged a potential of uh, 20 vo 220 volts, so V equal to 220 volt. So we need to find the radius of the sphere. So the radius will be equal to, as we have uh, already uh, done here. So we can uh, we can obtain uh, from uh, this equation actually. So 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 from this equation where C is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r. So uh, 4 pi epsilon naught r is equal to C which means that r is equal to c by 4 pi epsilon naught equal to uh, this uh, <coughs> the value epsilon naught is obtained from the data piece but uh, uh, since I can remember it properly I will be using that value so it is c is equal to 6.8 into 10 to the power minus 12 and this thing will be 4 pi into 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 so the answer should be when I do the calculations here. The answer should be should be, should be uh, six point eight exponent minus twelve divided four into uh, four into um, pi actually. So it is a shift to pi uh, into 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 eight point eight five four exponent minus twelve. So the value should be equal 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 to equal to 0 0.061 when I write in uh, 2SF it should be equal to 0 0.06161 uh, meters so it is 0 0.061 meters if it is in 2SF 
Now the next question is the next question is the charge in coulomb on the sphere. So we have to find the charge on the sphere in terms of coulomb. So of course uh, the unit of uh, charge is coulomb SI unit. So let's uh, uh, do it. So Q will be equal to this uh, thing. Q will be equal to equal to C into V. C into V. So uh, as we are given in the question here, in the question here, capacitance is this much and uh, uh, potential is this much. So I should have C equal to uh, 6.8 into 10 to the power minus 12 minus 12 into V equal to 220. So the value should be equal to should be equal to 6.8 uh, exponent uh, minus 12 into 220. So this becomes this becomes 1.496 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. So it's equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb if you write in 2 SF. So it is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus I forgot this. It's 9 only. It's 9 only. So what a what a mistake I have done here. So it is minus 9 minus 9 coulomb. Now the next question is somewhat like this. So this is our next question. A second uncharged uh, metal sphere. Metal sphere is brought. Second uncharged metal sphere is brought uh, in contact. Uh, in contact uh, uh, to the sphere in C. So that they both touch each other. They both touch each other. The combined capacitance of the two spheres is uh, something like this. So what happens is. So we have this sphere here. Initial sphere. And we bring another sphere also like this. So now the combined capacitance, new capacitance is equal to uh, 18 pico farad. That's equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad. So what it says is, uh, calculate the potential of the two spheres. So uh, at this time, the potential across the two uh, of the two spheres will be same because they are in contact with each other. So we have to find that combined potential. So let's say it is equal to V nu. So V nu is equal to Q by C nu. It's because this charge now spreads into all of these things and if we avoid the losses if we negative the losses this charge is equal to the charge now possessed by the two spheres in total so the value of charge should be same so it should be uh, 1.496 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided the new capacity is 18 into 10 to the power minus 12 so its value should be equal to so we already have this thing in the calculator so this divided 18 exponent uh, minus 12 is equal to 83.111 so 83.111 so it should be equal to 83 83 volt so the answer is 83 volt so as you can see here the previous voltage was 200 and since its charge is now uh, distributed to uh, to two spheres two spheres its uh, potential has decreased heavily now the next task is to find the value of change in energy. So the initial energy is equal to 1 by 2 C V square equal to that's equal to equal to, equal to uh, 1 by 2 1 by 2 into the initial capacitance is uh, as you can see from here 6.8 PF and V is this. So it should be equal to uh, 6.8 into 10 to the power minus 12 into V equal to 220 square. And the energy final is equal to 1 by 2 Cn Vn square. N stands for nu. So it should be equal to 1 by 2 into Cn is 18 into 10 to power minus 12 into this Vn is equal to 83.1 square. So therefore delta of energy should be equal to this thing minus this thing. So equal to uh, equal to equal to E initial minus E final equal to uh, since uh, I have to uh, I have to save some space so I'd be trying it uh, right from the calculator so 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 let's go for the first term uh, or we can say that I can take a half as common half as common and also this thing 10 to the power minus 12 as common so what I will do is I'll do is let me write like this so half common into 10 to the power minus 12 is common so it should be 6.8 into 220 square minus 18 into 8 .3, 83.1.1 square so equal to so now the mathematics becomes somewhat like this 
So let's first try the term uh, inside the uh, bracket here. So it should be equal to 6.8 into 220 square equal to minus 18 into 83.1 square back close equal to into 0.5 half means 0.5 exponent minus 12 equal to so the value becomes becomes 1.024 into 10 to the power minus 7 minus 7 joules so since this is a um, this is a let's say uh, <coughs> 4sf uh, let me write in uh, 3sf because uh, of the significance of uh, this thing so it's equal to 1.02 into 10 to the power minus 7 joules so 1.02 into 10 to the power minus 7 joules so this completes the whole uh, question of uh, question of this paper Num uh, number 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 it was a uh, number four